We're going to start with our penetration to pull our cable through. We're going to lay down a drop cloth so we get as much of the sheetrock dust contained as possible. Check the wall for stud location to make sure we're clear of the electrical as well. We have to go up a little bit higher because outside this particular home has a construction where we've got a roof line coming up here. We use a long quarter inch spotter bit so we can tell exactly where we're at and before we make any holes too big. We're going to use a marking tool and a level to make sure we get a nice square placement on the wall. The marking tool is a simple little one from Harbor Freight. It has four pins that will be the size of the knockout. We're going to place it on the wall. We're going to make sure it's good and square and then we're going to punch our pattern to mark it. I'm going to take a sheetrock saw and carefully cut it out just inside the pattern marker. You can always widen it out a little bit, but if you get too wide, you can't put the sheetrock back. And if you cut your hole properly, make sure everything's level. You, know, you can fit the nice retro wall plate inside of there and make everything come out looking very professional. And we're going to go outside and widen the quarter inch hole to a three quarter inch size, which will fit the Starlink tip so we can pull our cable outside to mount with our dish. And we're going to pull our Starlink cable in through the wall and we're going to make sure we're going to use the bullet end and not the right angle end. The right angle end requires a much larger hole. The bullet end will fit through a three quarter inch and that's the end we're going to pull out to the satellite dish. The other one plugs into the uh, router. I like the brush wall plates, they fit well.